Hi there, good guys free here. If you go galaxy hopping, before watching this, you'll find all your tech is damaged. Really? All of it? You can't believe it! But it doesn't have to be like that. Let's rewind. It can be done without damage, but one way is once only. The other requires a friend, and there's another option which sometimes works. We'll get to these methods, but first, let's start with minimizing the damage. In this save, I have only one ship, so I'm going to try and buy an explorer ship. This one is B-Class, but C-Class is enough. It will be the ship we use to jump to the next galaxy. The hyperdrive range on this ship is 166.3, so we're going to want to improve that. Let's buy it. If you can't afford an explorer, go for a shuttle. They're usually cheaper. Or change the settings to make it free and return them after you buy. The first thing we do is to rename it to Galaxy Hopper so we know it's only used for this, and we don't intend to use it for other things. Next, we move things aside and recharge the warp engine. Let's check if the technology merchant has any warp drive modules. In general, we're going to use a trick to get close to the galaxy core and from there it's going to require a few more warp jumps. So the better the warp drive upgrades we have, the smaller the number of jumps will remain. But don't invest in anything else for this ship, and don't worry if you don't have a lot. Let's buy this A-class and the B-class upgrades and install them, and also the C-class one. Notice the hyperdrive range is still 166.3. After installing, almost 480. Finish the installation of the upgrade modules. Now let's fast forward playing with the positions of the upgrades to max out adjacency bonuses and installing Emeril Drive, which is not really required. We see that the hyperdrive range is now 880.1. Good. Now buy a C-Class multi-tool. You can change the settings to make it free and return the settings later. I already have one, so let's switch to it. Remove everything, leaving just the mining beam. Then rename it to Galaxy Hopper. I've switched back to my regular ship and multi-tool to show you how things will look if you go without preparing. We need to reach the core, and there's a trick to get there fast. I'll go to a base I placed near a portal in this system. Let's go into space and open the galaxy map to see how far we are from the galaxy center. We see we are 705,000 light years from the core. Alright, back to the planet. I leave a link to a nice video on finding portals in the description. I'm going to activate the portal. Notice that in this save I only have the first glyph, but that's enough. We'll spam this glyph 12 times and see what happens. Atlas transport error, location corrupted, approximating destination. It's going to take us somewhere close to the core. Let's go through. Now we fly to space and see how far we are from the core. Open the galaxy map. We are 5,440 light years from the core. Very good, but still not there. We keep going using the galactic core destination setting. If you made it this far in the video, you already have my thanks. Please consider subscribing. My goal is to help other players, and more useful videos are going to be released. Now about 3,000 light years from the core. Let's skip to the interesting part. We select the galactic core destination and see that the red root line ends, so we warp there. In this system, we need to open the galaxy map and we see about 2,900 light years. If we select the galactic core destination and use free look, we will be able to see the core, but that's not the way to get there. 
Instead, we disable free look mode and move our controller until we see the words select star and the rotating circle lines. Press the same combination you use to warp and hold until you see galactic center unknown. If you see a red warning warp drive has no fuel, it's because you must have your warp drive recharged to 100%. Let's do it. The sequence is quite long, usually about two and a half minutes, but I condensed it here to just about 30 seconds. Okay, we've arrived. Let's see what happened. Open our suit inventory and we see that every piece of tech is damaged and requires repair, except for tech installed in supercharged slots. We move to look at our ship and the picture is the same. It says Starship out of range, but we can see the situation is even worse. Every piece of tech is damaged, even tech in supercharged slots. Same goes for our multi-tool, everything is damaged. We won't be able to summon this ship, and it is usually about 500 to 700 U away, but we can't tell because the analysis visor on the multi-tool is also damaged. We drop to our knees in disbelief, hoping we can fix things before we die. So let's rewind real quick. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. Thanks. I have switched to the Galaxy Hopper ship and going to warp to the portal. Now let's repeat the trick, activate the portal and jump close to the core. Going through the portal, we see that we arrived at a different planet. I don't know how the game decides where to put us. Let's go back to the ship and finish our preparations by removing any tech that isn't completely essential. Use the option to store technology and place the tech in the ship's inventory. The warp modules are needed to reduce the number of remaining jumps and the other tech cannot be stored, so only the shields upgrade was stored. We switch to the Galaxy Hopper multi-tool as well because I don't anticipate being outside my ship until we jump to the next galaxy. And then we do the same with the suit, leaving only three critical modules in supercharged slots, the shield, the hazard protection and the jetpack, which can't be stored anyway. All right, jump into the ship, go to space, and open the galaxy map. As expected, we are only 5,460 light years from the core. We start jumping towards the core. Let's skip ahead. Now in the final system before the core, we recharge the hyperdrive back to 100% and open the galaxy map. We select the galaxy core destination and move until we see select star. Now hold to select it like before and then hold to warp through the core. First thing we do now is switch back to our main multi-tool and we immediately see our ship marker. But if we try to summon it, it says it's damaged, so we go and summon the other ship. Don't worry about where you left the galaxy hopper, we'll see it soon. Going into our ship, we can see that it is just fine. Check the multi-tool, it's fine too. Now we're safe and we can get all the stored tech 
for the suit reinstalled and recharged. There, all good. Now let's summon our freighter. I presume you have one, and if not, maybe you should wait before jumping to another galaxy. Then we'll fly and dock with the freighter, because in the freighter you can summon the damaged ship. Let's see it. Looking at the docked ship, we can summon the damaged one and inspect and repair it. Now, very important, choose a planet and place a base computer. Build a small base. This will let you return to this galaxy anytime you like. If you go to a space station, this base will appear, regardless of which galaxy you are in. Same for your bases in Euclid and any other galaxy. Lastly, we need to talk about the other methods. One of them is a tiny spoiler, so skip ahead if you wish. Okay, the first method is to complete the New Beginnings storyline. At the end of this storyline, you will come to a place where you can choose one of four galaxies. Whichever one you choose, you will not suffer any damage. I'll leave a few links in the description if you wish to read more. The second method is by joining a friend's game, who already has a base in another galaxy. Once you have joined, fly to a planet and place a base computer. Lastly, the easiest by far is to summon the space anomaly, go to the teleporter, and warp to one of the community highlight bases. Sometimes they are not in Euclid. Warp, fly to space, and open the galaxy map to see where you are. Then fly to some planet, place a base computer. This method is great, but sometimes all the bases are from Euclid, and Hello Games only changes them very rarely. That's all. I hope this video helps you, and I hope you will consider subscribing.